This 32 year old couple is making $100,000 a month. And no, they're not doing OnlyFans. In this video, I'll be talking about a couple named Kaylon and Brittany who had no experience with marketing, running an online business, or running a business for that matter, from being a school teacher and being a policeman. They were your average Joes and they figured it out. So I hope by the end of this video, we're gonna break down how they did it, what they did, what they learned, and how you could do it yourself. Because honestly, anybody could do it. Oh yeah, and it's also pretty much passive income as well too. So originally back in 2019, Kellen and Brittany Klein, each 28 at the time, had a Forbes article come out talking about their blog savvy couple. Where at that time, they were running it for three years, being that they started in 2017. Now the cool thing is, is that from 2017 to 2019, they were making $100,000 a month in the span of three years. So what made this pretty cool is that none of them really had any experience in the digital online space or the online marketing space for that matter. Brittany being a teacher and Kellen was going job to job and he was kind of in law enforcement. They lived in a small community in upstate New York where it wasn't super entrepreneurial if that makes sense. But they had a passion for money and they wanted to learn. So their original idea was that the blog started off as a way for Kellen and Brittany to show other people how to manage their finances. Good cause. And this was based off of their own story with a family, with $40,000 in student loans, a child. Their whole idea was that this blog would make 500 bucks a month. I mean, three years later from 2017 to 2019, it was making $100,000 a year, so six figures. So in 2019, they were able to quit their jobs. Brittany wasn't a teacher anymore. Kellen wasn't going job to job. And they turned their blog, Savvy Couple, into their full-time venture. Now this was in 2019, but already three years in, making $100,000 a year, they were already enjoying the many benefits. They were free from their traditional nine to five lives. They spent much more time with their daughter. And once they had their foundation set, it's honestly unlimited income streams from digital products and affiliate marketing. Now fast forward from 2019 to 2023, almost five years later. So this is like an eight year story, by the way. So don't think this is a get rich quick type of thing because good things take time. But Kellen and Brittany are now making $100,000 a month with their savvy couple blog. And their family expanded to four with their two daughters, Kaylee and Kennedy. Now, as you probably assume, the business is doing a lot more money. It's making six figures a month versus six figures a year. And they doubled in terms of children. How are they managing all this? Well, because of the business, they're able to split their parenting time and their business time pretty perfectly. The husband, Kellen, will work in the mornings and Brittany will take care of the kids. Then when the kids are off and then later in the afternoon, Brittany takes over the work. And Kellen is helping out the kids and family duties. Honestly, they're living the dream. They're able to wake up when they want, travel four times a year, spend time with their kids, and make six figures every single month. It's kind of different than the culture that you hear of like work, 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 work. But to be honest with you, they did. It took them eight years to do it. It's kind of like that philosophy of work, 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 work. You see a little bit of progress, work, 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 work. A little bit more progress, work, 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 work. And then boom. Just kind of skyrockets. Now this family is pretty smart. I mean, their blog is all about money, so they should be. But they implemented four specific strategies to keep their business growing and to make sure they always have time for the kids. The first one, leveraging talent by building a dedicated staff. Now, everybody only has 24 hours in the day and most people are good at things, some things. You have to be good at something and you're probably horrible at other things. So it's the process of delegation. So from a solo entrepreneur, if you're an entrepreneur watching this right now, you're probably used to doing absolutely everything. The faster you can get to getting the right people to handle the right jobs, the better your life is. Now this is one of the biggest revelations for them from taking them from $100,000 a year to $100,000 a month. And the first person they actually hired was a VA, a virtual assistant, somebody to take over the day-to-day -day stuff. From all the trades, handling customer service, content writing, among all other functions. Dope. I mean, they have a blog. What else do they need? An editor? Yeah, they got an editor. And also a monetization expert. So you can take the traffic that they're getting and look at implementing more income streams with it. So with the VA, an editor, and a monetization expert, they now have better systems in place. So they're not really on that day-to-day -day anymore. So these four specialists in place has taken them from working 60, 70 hour work weeks to 10 to 20 hours per week. Crazy, I know, delegation works. So now all they have to focus on is high quality articles in terms of what the articles are gonna be about and how to create the most value driven digital products to sell to their audiences. That is actually useful. Now another thing they learned, and it's something that you might be doing all the time, I don't know, but from niche hopping. So Hermosi talks about this all the time in terms of staying within your niche, picking your lane and just driving. Pick your niche and then work, 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 work. If you keep switching lanes, it's kind of like starting over from zero. So for the Savvy Couple website, it's all about managing your money. 
So that includes topics like money management, budgeting, saving money, investing, but emphasizes on ways to make more money, specifically through profitable side hustles. Now in the age of inflation, it makes a lot of sense why people love side hustle content or money making content because it inspires them and motivates them. Since 2017, they've been making content about making money. So for eight years, they've been doing the same thing over and over and over again. One of the biggest things for them as well too was SEO, search engine optimization. So when anybody was searching up terms about how to make money online, they would come to them and also boost their affiliate marketing channels. If you don't know how that works is that if they're writing about a certain blog topic of a software or their own digital product or products they recommend or whatever it is there, if someone purchases it, they get a cut. Affiliate marketing. At the same time, while they're driving traffic to the site through SEO and making money through affiliate marketing, they were also creating digital products as well too. So Brittany, the wife, she was working on specifically developing digital planners, organizers, and printable PDFs for their other brand, Savvy Mama. Now these are products to help moms organize, simplify, and generally better control chaos in their lives. With the Savvy Mama membership that Brittany created, it helps moms stay accountable to all of their organization and finance needs. Wow, that's a great example of taking an existing brand and finding a new niche and then building on top of it. That's not super finance oriented. It's actually more organization oriented. Because Brittany, as a mother herself, being that in 2023, to this day, she now has two kids from one kid and building a six-figure business, has the credentials and the experience to talk about the challenges that mothers face and making mothers' lives easier. This is a great example of brands are pretty dynamic. They're not really linear in terms of it's one thing and then go, 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 go. Yes, they were building it off of this whole make money online space. But the cool thing is, is that she was able to take other things from her personal life and diversify Savvy Couple to now Savvy Mamas. At the same time, they also developed another thing, the Savvy Kitchen, where in the Savvy Kitchen provides recipes, meal planning, cooking tips, and other resources for homemakers to save money while preparing healthier meals at home for your kid. Genius. They have Savvy Couple, Savvy Mama, the Savvy Kitchen, and guess what? Then they created their YouTube channel, which now has 15,000 subscribers. And this kind of helps build that whole Savvy name to it. So in the future, we're probably gonna see more Savvy brands. This is a great example example of, you know, they saw that savvy couple was doing good. They were making money off of affiliate marketing and selling digital products. And they said, hey, we could pump this up and then we could also build another thing that's kind of related to it and just kind of keep stacking while it's all still under the same umbrella of savvy something. Staying focused and tracking time. So what they ended up doing was actually they calculated how much money they were making on an hourly basis. Now at this moment, they were making around $1,000 an hour. So they only worked on activities that were the $1,000 an hour activities and outsourced anything that was grunt. Don't waste time on things that don't make money. Mind you, now AI is really taking effect. So they started using AI back in 2020 during COVID. The biggest school that they were really using was Jasper AI to help them with their article writing or at least the framework around what type of articles to really write about. Same thing with Surfer AI. And now their whole editing team uses ChatGPT in some way, shape, or form with the article writing process, including YouTube scripts, email marketing, customer service, social media, and more. Now, one tip that they have from 2019, from when they were making $100,000 a year to now $100,000 a month and more, is that the blogging field has gone very crowded since then. And AI has been a major changer in the blogging industry. But the cool thing is, is that just because AI makes it a little bit easier, doesn't mean you're gonna have a successful blog just because of AI. So Google, for example, if you write an article that uses AI and they detect that AI, they will actually shadow ban that content and will not rank that high. So what they could focus on, which is the $1,000 an hour activity, is how do they create the most highest quality content possible to attract the highest quality person possible that could eventually buy their digital products, affiliate marketing, courses, whatever it is there. So it's using AI in the process, but not in the actual result. They mentioned that it might be a lot harder to get in the game right now, but nothing's impossible. But the biggest thing that Google's looking for if you're looking to start a blog in 2024 is experience, authority, and trust. So for example, if you're reviewing products or talking about side hustles, kind of like what their whole thing is about, it might be more beneficial for now you to actually go that extra mile and get that hands-on experience with the product and do a review on that or take your blogs to the next level or maybe even do it in a video format, kind of like how they started their YouTube channel. So their biggest tip with blogging in 2024 is that if you could apply that first person experience, like you specifically reviewing something in this specific category of blogging, you're gonna far succeed versus the other people who come up with those boring chat GPT third party perspective articles that will not rank for shit. 
Now, even though they found success with like SEO, social media, display ads and sponsorships, they found other sources within the last eight years that work pretty well as well too to bring traffic into their website. So I'm reading this right now. So sponsorships were our early revenue generator. This is a process of endorsing third-party products and services on the blog. The clients have learned to be much more selective in the products that they sponsor on their sites. So other brands and companies want to sponsor, wants, want to place their products on their website. Now, fun fact, they turned down 90% of sponsorship deals now, but at the time it was a good revenue opportunity. But the thing is, is that if you choose the wrong brands or products to collab with, it ruins your brand. So you kind of have to be selective. So now they don't really accept that many brand deals unless they get a sample of the product that they could try out or if they used it before. And the only way to know a price point of certain products to sell like their courses, for example, is to try different price points. So they started off with $100 courses to $200 courses to $500 courses. It's a constant thing of trial and error. So with their three brands in 2024 right now, they're currently making way over 1.2. Well, in 2023, it was reported that they were earning around $1.2 million in 2023. So they're probably earning a lot more now. And if you look at this chart here, it's the perfect example of work, 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 a little bit of progress, work, 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 a little bit of progress, work, 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 a little bit more progress, and then bang, it just kind of skyrocket now fun fact with their blog so 30 percent of the revenue comes from digital products 35 percent comes from affiliate marketing 20 percent comes from sponsorships 10 percent comes from display ads and five percent of it comes from their memberships now the cool thing about this story is that it's not really a get rich quick type of story this is a story that is eight years in the making where the first three years they're only making six figures a year, which is super impressive. But now they're going to six figures a month and more. Honestly, the coolest things you can really take away from this is that brands are dynamic and they're not really linear, where you could build a brand, keep your niche, grow, 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 build off of it in subcategories related to that niche, kind of like how they did with Savvy Couple to Savvy Kitchen to Savvy Mamas, where it's all in the same category of kind of what they're talking about in that friendly theme. Keep at it, keep adjusting prices, double down on whatever channel's working and go. It's not gonna be easy, but if you could stick to it, it could work. Now, I hope you found this video helpful and you should go check out their page and follow them on Instagram or YouTube if you wanna see their story, but they're super successful, super inspiring, and there's a lot to learn from their story. So if you like stories like this and you wanna learn more about how to make money online or other crazy online success stories with business, then follow the channel and turn on that notification bell so you can learn more about crazy stories like this. Subscribe for more.